Today we're going to be talking about the Momentus XT Hybrid Hard Drive. Stick around to see if it's worth Let's it. Let's go over the specs of the hard drive. It has a 500 gigabyte, 7200 RPM hard drive with a 32 megabyte cache. Now where's the hybrid part come in? It has a little 4 gig SLC NAND flash chip in there. And what it does is the more you open an application, the more it learns that you like it. So say you open iTunes a lot, it's going to go, okay, hey, he likes this application, let's save it here. So it saves it there like a big cache and it opens quicker so it's like an SSD speed any lesser application that doesn't get used much say pff, you don't open mail very much you know it's not going to be stored there and yeah so it'll relearn if you start opening an application more it'll learn and get rid of something else once it's filled so that's just a quick overview of the specs and how it works now when I was trying to figure out if I should buy this it was really hard to decide because you know, there's all these mixed reviews. There is for everything. But I was reading on Amazon, forums, and all that, and they're just kind of like, you know, don't buy this. It's a piece of crap. Locks up. I have to reboot every five minutes. It's junk. Some people are saying it's amazing. It's great. So I finally just bit the bullet, and I put it in my um, 2008 MacBook, 2 gigahertz, 2 gigabyte of RAM. You know, those aren't all that great of specs. Um, but I put it in there, and... <laughs> It made a huge difference when it comes to speed. I mean, um, just look at these. It's ridiculous. The startup time, the restart time is just way better. And general application opening is just better, you know. Um, it is quite a bit faster. Now we're going to talk about is it worth it or not. It's 150 US dollars. You could probably find it a little cheaper on ma on Amazon. I'm not really sure. You kind of just do some searching around for it. Um, but I definitely think it is worth it in every way. It has never given me a problem at all. It's been very fast. And, you know, it's just a great hard drive. And I think it is definitely worth the money. So now my final thoughts on it. Should you get it? Shouldn't you get it? It depends who you are. If you're opening applications a ton, if you're opening like 15 to 20 different applications a day, or you have to switch applications a lot for different things, I probably would stay away from it because it's targeted mainly for people who don't open too many applications, you know, and it just so it can store it there. If you're opening 15, 20 different applications a day or switching different applications constantly, it's not going to be able to learn very well and it's not going to be able to optimize it all that well. So if, if you open, you know, a ton of applications, I wouldn't really recommend it. But if you're not opening too much, you know, like iTunes, Safari, iMovie, just things like that, you know, um, you should be fine. I mean, 4 gigabyte is definitely a big cache, so you will have plenty of space. But, you know, it just really depends on how much you use. And I also really like this hard drive because it's, you know, you're getting SSD speed or close to SSD speed and a 500 gigabyte hard drive. For a 300 gigabyte SSD, you're going to be paying a few hundred dollars, 300, 500 dollars, you know, that's quite a bit of money. And for this, you're paying about 150 for very close to SSD speed and a 500 gigabyte hard drive. I think that is very nice, and I'd recommend this to a lot of people. Um, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. And see. You